The problem is that the gaming console is connected to the TV, which is great for gaming, but the gaming console also has Netflix and Hulu, which is how the family is streaming their favorite shows. Well, today I have this, and that's gonna solve that dilemma. Let me show you what I mean. Okay guys, this is the Mi Box S 4K Ultra HD set-top box. It's got a HDMI cable in the box, it's got the power adapter in the box, it's got a remote control with batteries included, and it's actually useful remote control with voice activation and love the Netflix button. More on all this a little bit later. The set-top box itself, nicely made, very nice and light. It's got only audio out, HDMI, USB and the power, no other buttons at all. Let's set this thing up. One of the greatest appeals of the Mi Box S is how simple it is to set up that anybody can do it. You're not gonna need your nine year old to help you out in this case. All you're gonna do is connect your HDMI cable, connect your power, switch it on and follow the prompts on the screen. It literally will take you through step by step of what you need to get you going. Now a couple of features that are worth noting is firstly it's got Chromecast built in and I'll show you how that works a little bit later and it's got Google Assistant that's built in and it's the official Google Assistant so you can control this with your voice. Let me show you. So here it is, nice neat interface, nice big icons, nice and clear, you can see all the channels are loading up that I've selected and of course you use the remote to go up and down, left and right and press the OK button to enter anything. First thing I want to do is I want to go into settings. I just want to check what resolution this is set to. Did it pick up all the correct information from my TV? And in fact, let me get you a little bit closer so that we can actually go through a couple of these features. Right, let's go down to display, screen resolution. And here we're going to go down to display mode. Now, the highest resolution my TV does is 180p at 60 hertz. And it's actually set that to be the maximum. So that's cool. Right, let's get back into the menu, go down to where it says screensaver, and you have a couple of options here. So your screensaver could either be off, it could be a backdrop or colors, and you can select how long to wait before the screensaver actually kicks in. The shortest time is five minutes, the longest is two hours. Um, let's go see what that actually looks like. So go to screensaver, I'm gonna show you what colors look like, and let's start that now. And you can see that it's these psychedelic, funky looking colors which are gonna be flashing on your screen. So if you're into that, well, there's an option for you. I prefer to go back into the screensaver and I prefer the backdrop. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And as you can see, these are just some stunning images from around the world showing various scenes and they keep on changing and alternating on your TV. So effectively your TV becomes this like mini work of art as these things are being displayed. That's quite funky. Now I'm not sure if there's a way to say, yes, I like these scenes more so it gives you certain genre only, but maybe it's something I need to explore further. Okay, so if you've got little kids who are going to be using this device, well, I definitely think you need to look at these two options. So under your Google, you have the ability to enable or disable safe search filter and block offensive words. By default, block offensive word was enabled, but safe search filter isn't enabled. You can go and manually enable that. So, you know, your kids are not going to get up to stuff they shouldn't be on your device. And never underestimate the power of kids, so make sure that your voice commands are blocking offensive words as well right who wants to watch netflix simply press the button on the remote the netflix dedicated button if you don't want to select it from your app list and you have full netflix functionality now of course the quality of the image is going to be as good as your tv is mine is 1080p if you have a 4k device this thing is beautiful what's really great with the mi box s is being able to use the google assistant so issuing voice commands so you can do the usual like what's the weather in dallas as an example but you can also do things like find me shows about lawyers or play me music from Taylor Swift. And it will go through your Netflix, your shows, things that you've subscribed to and find you the information that you're looking for. Another cool feature is being able to cast media from your device onto the TV. So if you're listening to music, if you're watching a YouTube clip or a video, you're able to press the little cast icon at the top. It looks like a little TV with an antenna and whatever you're watching on your phone, whatever you're listening to will now appear on the TV. Now, some things to note is that yes, you can control it from your device. You can pause, fast forward, rewind. And remember, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi zone for this to work. You cannot do this when you've left the house. 
So another cool thing to remember is that this is portable. Stick it into your bag if you happen to be traveling. As long as you've got internet access and an HDMI port on your TV, well, all your shows are right there. Make sure you follow them on social media because they've always got cool things happening. Link will be in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. It really helps the channel a lot. And if you like this kind of content, check out some of these other cool videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now. Thank <laughs> you.